One second to snap it again, just get it away. McGloin, lots of traffic, gets it off to his back. Victor, making some people miss, lowers the shoulder. And the ball comes out, and D.C. has it. And the defenders are walking down the field with Raheem Moore. What a turn of events here. And a flag comes in at the end, and players continue to get together. One helmet came flying off. Another player is still down. And the benches are starting to empty as well. This is going to take some... Well, there was a huge collision, obviously, That's between right, him yeah. and Scooby Wright, but it actually came from the behind him, number 45, appears to have come and ripped it from the left-hand side. That's Raheem Moore. Rip time. Cornelius connects. And that's Dan Williams. Gave up the first down, got it back. Their penalty mark is down as well. And another flag comes flying late. Yep, this is going to be a crackback block. Watch here, 24 right there, bang. He's got to approach from the front. That's Devian Smith, the running back. Pretty good. A play action, Landry Jones. Flag on the play, complete to the 40-yard line. And Joshua Crockett had a big one earlier for 39 yards. Lined up over the slot player. There he is. And he's just going to come straight in, get to Cornelius. Cornelius never saw him. His eyes are on the opposite side. And he's able to get a free run on the quarterback. And again, the defense is playing well, getting pressure on these guys. Not a lot left, Steve. Hey, I need a lot of pressure. Justin Vogel just got it away. Eli Rogers from his own 30. Cutting up the field gets out beyond the 40-yard line. They're out of confidence. Here on the fake, on the throw. He's got the tight end. Finally getting Lucas involved today. And another first down. This offense for St. Louis in the second half has been nearly perfect. So a few plays back. Here's Marcus Lucas. This is RPO Reed. And now they're going to send Lucas on a little scene. Trey Williams. And he is stopped by Nikita Whitlock. And the rules will change just a little bit. Their flags with all the extra pushing afterwards. Marcellus Branch laid a big hit while Whitlock had him wrapped up. I wonder if the penalty was actually for the hit by Branch. See how as he came in with his head lowered towards the head of the ball carrier. Personal foul, illegal use of the helmet. Defense, number 35, for leading with the crown of the helmet. Penalty is half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. That's exactly what it is. Obviously a crucial penalty at this point of the ball game. Huge penalty, and right here, as he's going in, boom, he uses that crown of the helmet, lowers it right to the head of the running back. Excellent call by the official as Branch can get in a rhythm they can get back in this game. Tim Cook, the ball carrier. 
took a big hit, but that's a good run on first down for New York. And Tyree Cannell cut the feet out. This is the other tight end, Sean Price, and he takes it to midfield. Lost the football. And a renegade cough it up. The Wildcats get it back, and we've got a flag back inside the 40. Holding offense number 11. The penalty is declined. The result of play. Turnover on down. Three consecutive drives have ended in turnovers. Reggie Howard finds the football this time. The big hit on Sean Price and the hometown Los Angeles Wildcats get the ball back. Draw, Williams, big hole right side, flips over inside the 10, and he's close to another first down. Kenny Robinson, the safety with the big hit. Pass sets up the run, right? Pass, pass sets up the run in this June Jones offense. Big hit, but Williams is not scared. He lowers his pads. That's a very effective run in this June Jones system. He had turned that around quickly. Yeah, today with a field goal and a defensive pick six for their touchdown. And... That may be over as Jacquez Patrick keeps on fighting. He's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. But what a run by Patrick. They're on first down. Nice pickup to the one. Listen to this collision. Oh, oh Jordan Martin. You better bring your lunch pail. How about that? Patrick lowers the boom. Patrick played his college football at Florida State and showed up in the defensive backfield angry on that run, taking it four on first down. Bromley was there, that swarming D.C. defense. Second and 14. McGloin to Cook. Forget about it. Nothing doing. Jonathan Celestine makes the big stop for the defenders. Loss of three on the play, and they're going the wrong way. And Gilbride said, wait, we got to get some screens, and that'll slow that pass that's rush. Yeah, so much for that. Uh, you see Celestine all over it, recognizing it. It's on a little seam route. That's a staple pass play off your run game in this RPO-style offense that Chuck Long is in. Truesdale, the tight end, runs it to his own man, keeps going, gets the first and more. All the way down to the 15-yard line. I don't know if you call that second effort if you hit your own guy, but whatever it is, <laughs> right. it worked. That's right. He did. Houston Blitz coming, uncovered man. Walker tries to set up a screen. Oh, what a hit. How about St. Louis there? There's the other guy you talked about, McCoyle in on the play. McCoyle, we had a chance to sit down and visit with him yesterday. Hearing him talk about the guys he's emulated, guys like, I mean, he is just a really, really good, versatile player. Played safety in the NFL, played safety in college, and then Jay Hayes talked about this. Fake to Walker. Well, Williams, Walker keeps, rolls, flips, diving is he in? No. He is just short. Andrew Agra maybe saved the conversion, but why don't we look again and see if he actually got in? I think his legs made it in, but I think when he flipped, the ball ended up being behind the rest of his body. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, I'm with you. Short. I think he's short.